What's up guys, Dark Dally here playing the Crew 2. I'm currently playing the beta, and if you're watching this, the full version of the game is probably already out, but this is gonna carry over. I wanna give a quick little tutorial on everything you need to know about modifying your car, how to get the parts, and how it all works. Here we have uh, one of my favorite cars sitting here in my garage, and I just kinda wanna go through this with you. First of all, let's check out, uh, let's check out visual customizations, and to do that, we're actually gonna have to switch vehicles because you really cannot modify this thing visually whatsoever. This car has extensive visual modifications. So when you're sitting in, in your garage, you simply go to customize. Now visual modifications, at least as far as has been seen in the beta, all the visual parts are already unlocked. Like here we have 24 different hood options that we can cycle through. And they're pretty cheap. They're really cheap. See, these are only like a couple thousand dollars for each of these. And, and you can use the shoulder buttons to tab, you know check out different parts of the car, wheels, hoods, you know, bumpers, mirrors, side skirts, rear uh, spoilers, rear bumpers, even the interior of your car. This stuff is all really self-explanatory. It's really cheap to buy these and they're already unlocked. And the cool part about this is that when you get your car, they make it nice, accessible, and easy to make it look the way you want, you know, for around 10 or 15 grand, which, you know, so what? Go out, do one race and you'll have enough money to fully make your car visually the way you want it. Now, performance, however, that's a different story. So I'm not gonna go over really, you know, this stuff is pretty self-explanatory. I'm not gonna go over the livery editor in this, but I just wanted to quickly show the visual stuff. It's great that, you know, I can pick up this hot rod and for, I think it cost me around probably 15 grand, maybe thereabouts, I was able to make it into this cool little rat rod appearance and that's how I wanted it. Now, when it comes to performance, let's actually swap cars Let's swap to a car that has more performance parts on it. All right, so here's my most highly tuned car that I own, and that's because I like to do off-road racing. So it's my Rally Raid car. When we go to Customize and we look at Performance, now, if you haven't done any races or anything, you're not gonna have anything in these menus. You're just gonna have the stock parts. You collect all these parts as you go. Now, each, uh, so there's uh, different sections here. I should back up. There's different sections. We have brakes, gearbox, ECU, motor core, exhaust, suspension, and tires. And each one of these has 15 slots you can store parts in. Now what you can, what you may see that I've done here is I've gone through, I've collected so many parts in this car, I've actually gone through and started deleting the uh, lower quality parts. Parts are gonna come in three qualities. Green, like you see right here, which is like basically uncommon. I guess most games class green as common or uncommon. Blue is rare, and then the pink is epic. I've gone through because I, you don't want to have full slots. You want to have a few slots open in each category when you do get parts. And I'll show you how to, how, you know, where the parts come from. You want to have a few open slots so you're not full. So with this car, I've collected so many parts. I've started going through and deleting the blues and greens, just keeping the epic parts. Those are the ones that really matter anyway. You know, they're going to give you more bang for your buck. Now, as far as how you get parts, well, there's, there's, basic, there's basically two ways to get parts. One is completing races. If you win a race or complete the objective for you know a, a race event, then at the end, it's gonna drop the little loot boxes and you simply drive over and pick them up and it gives you random parts. And then you can go into your performance menu right there in your pause menu and equip them. The other way is simply by exploring. I like exploring, you know, I've put out uh, a couple of videos on exploring and I've done my share of exploring in live streams and I love exploring in this game. And when you're exploring, sometimes you get that little radar ping. I'm sure you're familiar with it and you can always follow that and use that to find parts. Once you find parts, they go into your pool there, again, where you have 15 slots for each thing on your car. Now, there's something I'd like to mention. Those parts are gonna apply to the class of car you're in. So if you complete a race in a drift car, you know, if you complete a drift event and you win it, those parts are only gonna work on drift cars. Not just that car, but any drift car. Let's look at an example of a street. So let's go to, this is my, uh, this is currently my best street car. I don't do a lot of street racing, so it doesn't have a lot of parts on it. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. Let's go to customize. Let's go to performance. And here you, you can see we have a few upgrades. Now these upgrades are gonna work with any street car that I have. So if I go into these and say I unequip, see I have this part right here equipped. Say I unequip that, let's just go through all of these sections here and unequip all the, the meager amount of parts I, I have on this. Just unequip all these. That's good enough. Now we're gonna go select a different streetcar. Let's choose my little rat rod here. So let's get my rat rod out. Now, when I go to customize 
and I go to performance, you're gonna see all the parts I took off my RX-7 are now gonna be available. When we come here, you see there's the ECU I took off. When we go down here, you see there's that, that blue motor core that I took off. So the, those parts are all communal. So all your street race cars are gonna have a communal pool of parts. So if you're, if you're tired of one, you wanna move on to the other, you can unequip the parts, go to the other car, and then you can throw them on. And that, yeah, again, that goes with every class of cars, you know, rally raid, rally cross, uh, it, it's gonna, the parts you pick up are simply unique to that one class of car. So let's say if you're exploring and you get the little radar ding and it's show, you know, directing you towards one of those loot boxes in the wild, um, before you crack that loot box open, think about what class of car you want those parts for say it's in a hard to reach place and you used a rally raid car to get there. Once you get to the loot box, say you want those parts for your drag car, but obviously driving a drag car through the wilderness is just not practical. Drive there with your rally raid car and then when you get there, swap to your drag car in the pause menu, then open the box and voila, you'll have parts for your drag car and for your other drag cars. So it's really, it's, it's actually a very simplified performance modification system. It's very arcadey. It's very, uh, it's more like loot drops than actually purposefully buying parts from a menu. But you know what? It's a long climb. Each one of these parts, you notice the performance level rating over there in the, uh, the right-hand side of my screen. It says performance level 82 out of 280. This car has not been upgraded much because I just use this to cruise around in. That means I can, <clears throat> it's like basically a performance index saying, you know, all street race cars have a performance, you know, a max performance level of 280. That's what they go to. Just like uh, rally cross cars have a max of 230. They can't go any higher. And each one of these parts adds a little bit to that. If I go to my uh, motor core here, you see I'm currently at 82. And you see if I, were to, if I were to equip this piece that I took off the RX-7, you see it adds 1.6 to my rating. It actually bumps me up to 83. And you can see all the changes in green over there that this does. This one part adds only 1.6 points. So it's a long climb to the top. This Skyline, uh, this is my Skyline Rally Raid Edition. This is my, this is the car I put the most work into. I've probably done about 50 races with it. I've gotten countless, countless pieces of gear, uh, pieces of performance parts, sorry. I've gotten so many that as I said, I've started deleting the ones of lesser quality. And as you can see, I'm still only 119 out of 140 because every every part is just a small, tiny, you're just inching your car up there slowly. Now, I like that. Now, some people may prefer more standard games where you modify cars, like where you where you go through a menu and you choose the part you want and you pay money for it. And people say, well, this is this is stupid. This is just loot boxes that you earn in game. Yeah, perhaps. But here's the thing. It, it can, it's easy, in my opinion, to get bored and burnt out in games like Gran Turismo or Forza, uh, where you go to the store, you buy a car, you still have a couple hundred grand left over, and then you buy all the best parts and you're done. Well, shit, what do you do now? Now you have a maxed out car that you haven't even driven. This game makes you really work for it because each one of those parts just adds a tiny little bit. So I really feel like I've grown with this Skyline as I've had it because I've just, it's just been inching up. I, when I bought it, I think it had a rating of like 70 or something. I forget, it had a pretty low rating. And I have almost doubled that since I've had it, just doing all these races and slowly, it, it makes it so that when you get one of those epic pieces or rare pieces of gear, uh, you know, for your car, you're like, yes, you know, it feels good. So guys, that's how the that's how the modification works in this game. It's actually really simple to explain. It's you know, it's so it's such a, such a simple thing. But if you if you haven't played the game yet and you're thinking about getting it, that's how the modification works. There's a lot of visual upgrades you can do to to the you know more stock kind of cars. Now cars like this, which come come already with the brush guards and, and the fog lights. It's, you know, it's got the snorkel on it. It's got a wide body kit. These specialty cars like the rally cars and the, the specialty drift cars and stuff. You're not going to really be able to do much visually to them. But the, the, the factory cars you buy, like that RX-7 that I had, that, that rat rod you saw that I had, a lot of cars can take a massive amount of modifications. And you can really make them however you want, down to custom paint jobs and liveries. All right, guys. So that's kind of the basics on modification to give you an idea for how it works in the crew, too. Tell me what you think in the comments below. Guys, this has been real fun. I have a lot of fun doing this all the time. Every aspect of this game to me is so much fun. So it's been a real pleasure to bring this video to you. Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'm Dark Dally. I will catch you guys next time.